Welcome back, Trash Pack. Today we're playing some more Spirit Fair. Um, really quick, before we do anything else, I kind of want to talk to her. Stella, dear. Doing good? I see you've been taking good care of your plants. That's good. I hope my teachings are helping you in some ways. You know, I used to be quite the little soldier. Midfield State University. Agronomical Engineering Class of 71. Top grades and a progressive profile. I was hired right away by one of those big corporations. They put me in charge of a large parcel of land. Several thousands of acres. I was to maximize the output of our land assets. Well, that's what I did. And believe me, I did it well. I crammed the field full of transgenic seeds. When the insects came, I doused them with poison. And when the soil turned gray, I pumped it full of chemicals. Great, powerful stems grew upon these grounds. And plentiful, unnaturally enormous cobs. But underneath all laid an unfathomable sickness. I guess it was inevitable that I met with the dragon then. Sooner or later. <clears throat> Interesting. So, she used to work for some kind of pharmaceutical company. Um, and she, like, raised crops, but... Probably, like, some fucking GMO shit or whatever. Oh, no. No, no, no. Stella, don't you remember? I don't eat any animal product. Okay, so she's vegan. I kind of figured, but... Nice to know for sure. Certainly they were not meant for our consumption. And the meat? No, no. I'm sorry, I won't impose my choices on others, but I cannot eat that. Alright, that's all I needed to know. What did I give her last? Do you want some fruit? Oh, you found my weak sweet spot, dear. I can't say no to a, to a dessert. A delightful sugary perfection. Thank you very much. Okay, so she doesn't want a hug, but... So, that's kind of interesting, I suppose. She used to work <clears throat> for some kind of like major, major corporation and caused a lot of problems, whether intentional or not. But that is neither here nor there, because actually what I wanted to show you before I ran into her was, as you can see, I've changed my layout a little bit. So we've got our loom here. We've got our sawmill here. We've got our veggies up here. The guest house is just kind of awkwardly sitting there for now. And we got our kitchens here. Um, so now there's a lot more free, empty space, so I can build uh, their shit that they've been wanting and wouldn't leave me alone about. What are you doing? I'm playing music for the plants. Should I stop? No. I'll continue playing. Wish I could give people stuff. I wonder how that works. They haven't really introduced that as a mechanic yet. Ooh, we got some, uh, some mail. We just got a letter. Ode to an axe. We've already read that. Let's check out the protest flyer. <clears throat> Workers unite! You are done being paid unfair wages. You are done being exploited for the benefits of the upper class. Say no to capitalist abuse. Relay to our cause at Bottom Line Corp. Union for Working Denizens. Alright. <clears throat> uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I already read that one. Dear customer, due to an unforeseen supply shortage at our Bottom Line Corp, Raccoon Inc. will no longer be able to apply our special rebate program for recurring customers. Please know that it is with great regret that we have, have to inform you of this situation, and rest assured, valued customer, of our continuous effort to improve it. Raccoon Inc. Trade is our family name. So, I gotta address this. What is with this raccoon slander in this game? Raccoons is capitalists. Please. We all know that we're all thieves at heart. Our lord and savior, Sly Cooper, would not stand for this. Never. Never! Alright, let's go see what Big Boy wants. You know me! I could always go for a little snack. Something salty. Something buttery. Something with flavor. Oh, jeez. You know what would be just perfect? A big old bag of popcorn all to myself. Just go ahead and eat some, up some corn. Boy. 
I ain't got, I got popcorn for days. Hmm, that really didn't fill me up. However, it did make me miss my kids a whole lot. I used to ba make bags of popcorn on movie night for them. Even with the TV turned up, you couldn't hear the actors talking. The crunching was so loud. It was the only way to calm those little monsters down. Watching these terrible kids' movies. I wish I was still there. See them laughing. For them to fall asleep on me. Thank you for this popcorn. I was looking at your kitchen yesterday. It's fine. Nothing special. It reminds me of my first kitchen. In my terrible apartment. I didn't know what I was doing in there. I was so careless with the spices. Not enough salt. Anyway, here's a little something to brighten this mess up. Don't worry, it's not a spice rack. You'll need to actually work for it, but it'll be worth it. Just improve your kitchen with some extra oven space. Your kitchen will be looking just right in no time. Well, well. A snack would be great right about now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, you want, um... Now this is a fine dining experience. You're on your way to another Michelin star. Man, nobody wants a hug today. What is this unfairness? Unfairness. I cannot believe that nobody wants a hug today. What is this? All right. Um. Well, he said something about improving the kitchen, so let's see if I can do that. I don't think I can currently, but let's see. Yeah, see, I need linen fabric first. Um, yeah. Can I improve any of this stuff? No. 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 Can I build any of the things they want yet? Actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Let's check. So I need 12 oak plants planks and I need one more maple plank and one more linen thread to do his workshop so let us take care of our many many problems oh yeah okay so it's like this easy peasy all right so we got some linen thread now we need a single maple board why am I going down my 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 workshops here so let's make a single uh, maple board really quick. Oh, I got a bunch of them for that. Okay. So if I'm not an idiot uh, and I do those really well, I'll get more boards out of it, I think, is the kind of the idea. So let's build Altu's workshop really quick. Oh, I still need fucking... I, I don't have enough linen thread? Dang. You are demanding, my dude. I really like this game. It's really charming. I am glad I decided to play it. Alright, let's see what junk we got. And do we have anything that we can know? All right. Um, so let's hit the map. I, I need to get a few things. What is that? Oh, that's the Wandering Merchant. Okay. We're currently at Albert's. Yeah, I want to go here because I need linen. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Okay, so today's one and only goal is going to be getting all of the guest house built. I think I've already said this a few times, but I'm like, just keep getting distracted. But now that we're on the start and we're ready to roll, I just want to say that that's the goal for today. That's going to be kind of what we're working towards. Um, so hopefully we can get it just done really quick. Um, yeah. And if we can, that'll be fantastic. Because I kind of want to see everyone be as happy as possible. I don't have any, like, major goals anyways. So it'll be nice to have, like, a nice, you know, simple kind of goal. Um, yeah. Uh, so for the time being, I'm just doing a little fishing. And once I get into town, I'm going to just go ahead and buy a few things so that I can uh, get what I need. 
Here, once I finish up this song, I should be able to just go ahead and plant some linen seeds, which would be really nice. Because I'm going to need a lot of linen. We're also going to need to try and get a bunch of uh, logs as well, because we need a bunch of different kinds of logs. I'm hoping I can just buy them in Hummingbird. Uh, I mean, my main top priority is actually going to be getting the key because I do want to see what the key leads to but I'm also going to be focused on getting through uh, all the building requirements at the moment um, so the story is going to kind of take a bit of a standstill today or well at least for this episode probably maybe even the next one as well depending on how long everything takes uh, but I don't think it should be too bad because I should be able to just kind of purchase a lot of the stuff I need, I think. So I'm hoping that will be the case. Um, and you can see our plants are growing along pretty nicely. I do like that the song speeds us up, but I really need to unlock some new songs because uh, this one I'm kind of tired of hearing now. Nothing against this song. It's actually like a really pretty song. It's just... I've played this song like 80 times in this game already. Um, it has worn on me now, and I would like a little bit of variety. Mix it up, remix, refresh, you know? Oh my god, I'm just like vomiting words right now because I'm trying way too hard. But it's fine. This is part of the learning process. We learn by doing. An excellent salesperson always carries what the customer needs. So, my well-off patron, what can I do for you? I want this key. Alright, I need linen seeds. I don't need limestone currently, but I do need some maple logs. And let's sell what we can to you. Um, so I don't need this much fucking popcorn. So we're gonna sell this down to like five. Ooh, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you want? If you've got everything you need, I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. Interesting. What the hell? You unlocked the door downstairs? Now anyone can come up here. I don't want these downstairs jerks up here. Upstairs crew forever. Oh my goodness, this game is like so adorable. I love it way too much. I'm gonna be really sad whenever I run out of episodes of this to play, I think. Luckily, this seems like it's gonna be a pretty long going game because there's a lot going on. Oh my god, maintaining a ship is hard fucking work, bros. You gotta do all this, like, sawmill work, and all this fucking plant work, and make sure everybody's happy and cook everything all the time. Why they gotta make it so complicated? I just wanna, just wanna hug animal people and have lunch. And maybe send their souls to the great beyond whenever it's finally time and they're satisfied. You know, standard fare. Oh, this game's nice, actually. Once you kind of get used to this one, this one's pretty nice. Like, it's just a nice, peaceful little uh, up and down whooshy whoosh. Alright, we did it. We got some maple planks, we got some sawdust. Time to find out what that sawdust do, though. Oh shit, I fucked that up. Rip. Rip me. Can't believe I did that. I am an idiot. Alright, cook. Let's do some sawdust. Let's see what sawdust makes. I am incredibly curious about this. Looks great. Way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. 
Don't forget that you'll probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it, though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. You have to find better mentors than me. You did good. Now we've got a real boat going. And you have to take care of these new passengers now. They'll be the ones testing your patience, not me. But before all that, I have something to ask you. You might have noticed it by now, but sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal for scenario for either. For sleeping in the guest house is not the ideal scenario for any of us, especially since it's getting crowded in there. Look, I'm not complaining, you know. You've been terrific up to this point, and it'd be terribly rude of me to blame you for anything. But I think it's time for me to have a space of my own. A nice little house, unpretentious but sophisticated, with a cozy vibe. A space in which I could read and unwind, far from the turmoil of the deck. Oddly enough, I'd see something with an airplane, uh, an alpine flare. See, even I can be filled with nostalgia sometimes. Again, I won't be pushy on this, but I'd be delighted if you could build it for me. Oh, you know I'm gonna build your fucking house. Better fucking believe it. So we got a few things we gotta work on right now. Um, but first, we're gonna have to grow a lot of fucking plants. I need to figure out where to get some oak wood. Because I can't build the snake lady's place without oak. So maybe I can try some of the, like, tree places again, where we were cutting down trees before. But it seemed like they all had maples. Uh, but I don't really know where else to try, so... Better than nothing, right? But for now, let's get the houses built that we can build. That would probably be the smartest choice. Build what we can and then worry about what we can't later. Because we have three houses that need built currently. And I feel like we can definitely get them all built. And like I said, that's going to be the goal of this episode and potentially the next episode as well. But I think this one alone will be enough. Like, I've been working pretty hard at this and we still got plenty of time. So, I think we can definitely get their guest houses built up all nice and good. And then they'll have a nice little space of their own and nobody will have any complaints. Here we go. Now we can finally build all Pultu's workshop. Oh my god, his workshop's massive. Oh, this is gonna take um, some rethinking, isn't it? Okay, I've got an idea of what I can do here, though. Edit, move this. Uh, really quick, and get this one out of the way somehow. Same code to deal. Yeah, if we set his here like this, and then we were to move the guest house like this, then we could actually probably um, bring this and this together. And yeah, there we go. That's fine for now. So let's see what he's got to say about his new home. We're one down, two to go. It's perfect, Sprout. It's massive. All this room for little old me. I can't wait to catch some shut eye. This is really great. Thank you so much. I won't forget this. So this is your nice little workshop. Oh, it's nice. It's lovely. All right. Let's see what else we can do while we're here. Build. Can we build Gwen's Lodge? Yes, we fucking can. Oh my god. Her thing is massive too. She's fucking Christ. Okay, so we're gonna have to move shit around big time. Okay, so let's build her little house thingy. God, I hope uh, the snake lady's place isn't massive, or I'm kind of screwed. All right, we got Gwen's Lodge. All right, so let's see what Gwen has to say about this. 
Let's see her nice little space. Oh, this is so nice. I love it. This cabin is outstanding. It really does wonders to have a place of your own. Doesn't it remind you of my old condo on Waverly? Probably the only place where I could get some peace and quiet. Thank you, old friend. I'm so glad that she's happy with everything. I don't have anything to do! I got this surplus of energy. I need to get my hands busy. Can you do me a solid? You've always been my favorite niece, you know that? I think I need a place to focus that energy. In a sawmill. Yeah. You're just missing some of the key components. Materials. Which I'm sure you can find on nearby islands. I'm counting on you to help me out. I'm sure you don't want your old uncle to sleep on the deck, right? Okay. Wow. This looks amazing. Thank you for helping me out, Stella. This sawmill is so big. What a beauty. There's just one problem. Now don't get mad. I don't have any money to repay you. I guess that's why they call it a favor. You see what I did there? Thanks again, Sprout. What do you want? Do you want some food? What's the last thing you fucking ate? Have some coffee. And a hug. Yeah. Wasn't that a great favor, niece of mine? Yeah, it was, boy. Well, we're currently two for three. We've built two of the necessary guest house. And uh, we even got a bonus for already having built the sawmill. Which means all that remains is building the snake lady's habitat. Um, and I don't remember what she needs, but I believe it involved oak boards. Uh, so the next thing we need to do is figure out where to get oak. I do have some stuff to sell to the wandering merchant. So maybe uh, during the next daytime part... I'll sail over to him to see if maybe uh, I can get some stuff that way. Uh, there's definitely been a lot more things to keep track of as of late. It seems like uh, my resource management has expanded. So it's going to be a lot tougher to keep track of everything. Hopefully it doesn't mean I won't have to like even further expand on uh, episodes. Ooh, I just messed that up hardcore. I don't think I will have to further expand on episodes, though. I think it's fine the way it is. Uh, at least I hope so. Like, I mean, it's been relatively simple going. Like, I usually get enough out of an hour of footage to make a full episode. I hope I won't have to switch to, like, hour and a half recordings. But there has been a lot more resource management, so that might be an issue moving forward. I don't think so, though. I'm pretty confident that won't be an issue. And even if it is, oh well. That just means I have to play even more of this game. Whew, it's getting hard to manage everything. So what do we got? Oh, okay, so we can make coal without burning the logs if we just use our sawdust. Perfect. I don't know what I need coal for, but I'm guessing I'm going to need a lot of it. We're two-thirds of the way to our goal for the day. Let's see if we can make it all the way. All the way. We're gonna make it all the way today. We'll visit Albert really quick. Just cause I'm thinking that maybe, um, maybe I can get the ship expanded again. Uh, I don't know what it'll take or what Albert has available currently, but uh, there might be a good chance that I can get the ship, like, fixed up a little bit, get it a little bigger, so that I have some room to, f uh, put in new stuff, because I am just running out of space, really hard, really hardcore running out of space. Okay, somebody wants something from me. Stella! Stella, I've got to tell you, there's something I'd stumbled upon some time ago, and up until now it didn't seem that important. Brace yourself. Remember my parents' manor on the lake? As weird as this sounds, it's not too far from here. Yes, I know. It makes me wonder about this world, too. I must admit, I've been actively trying to avoid it. At any rate, it's become hard to ignore. As I spent much time with you here, I think I'm ready to tackle this challenge. I'll probably only find regrets and sorrow there, but it's worth a shot. I've added the location to your map. 
I'll be ready whenever you are. Interesting. Interesting. Well, we're going to talk to Albert before we do much else. But that is definitely a place we're going to be visiting soon. Because <clears throat> I want to know as much as I can. Wait a second! I don't have a joke for the loom yet! I might have one soon. It's coming. I can feel it looming over me. Ha 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 ha! Uh, you're always the best. Okay. So yeah, we need oak plants to do pretty much anything. I can at least upgrade the ship size. Oh my god. This ship's like... Oh, we need a lot of stuff here. Um, that'll make it break ice. Okay, so these are going to be obstacle breakers. Uh, so I need oak planks for upgrading the ship as well. But at least I got some more size out of it now. Uh, which means I can fucking move shit around again. Which I think I'll save again for off screen, because that seemed to simplify matters in my life. Oh, whoa, shit. Hey, did you forget about that kitchen? It really needs to be improved. Oh my god, dude, leave it alone. Let me see if I can improve the kitchen, I guess. Uh, probably not. Yeah, I need linen fabric. I don't even know how to make linen fabric. And I probably can't buy it. Oh, I probably have to improve the loom to make linen fabric now that I'm thinking about it. So I guess we're going to learn a lot about us, uh, about Gwen here in a minute when we go to that manor. I mean, that'll be next episode, but... Once we go there, I'm guessing we're going to learn an awful lot about her. Uh, which is going to be nice. I would love to learn more about these wonderful people. Of course, the more I learn about them, the closer I get to having to say goodbye as well. Which is not fun. Ooh, I got a message in a bottle. Oh, you know I'm going to read the hell out of that. Message in a bottle time. Greetings from... Furogawa, experience the wonders of the great oak forest and the serenity of the magnificent rice fields. Available now in Gurinu Fields. Oh, I think uh, we found what we wanted. So hopefully that'll unlock it. You just fished out a bottle from the sea. That's not trash. It could be anything in there. A tiny ship, old wine, a baby crab. Yes, yes, it could even be trash. Go ahead and crack it open. I already did. So, I don't think I'll quite have enough time to get everything I need done, but... So, I guess Snake Lady's house is going to have to wait till the next episode, but... I think I can at least get to the oak before time's up. Hopefully. We shall see soon enough. Some raspberries. I'll be picking up some wood. Hoping to do some work on these later. Yeah, I know. You'd say the same thing every time. At least he's got something to say, I guess. He's a very chatty sort. Maple logs, let's get the hezzy heck out of here. Probably have to call it a night now because it's too dark to sail, but that's fine. Oh my god, look at my big mess of fucking buildings. I want to try to, I think next time I take a look at stuff. I'm going to try to get all of my big buildings on the uh, bottom and kind of stack upwards from there. Um, I just didn't realize out. I didn't think fucking the frog guy's thing was going to be so giant. That caught me off guard. Water some plants. Water some plants. 
Water some plants. Got to get our morning rituals out of the way. You know how it is. We'll get there in no time. All right, we got some stuff going on. Don't have anything to like make right now, so not worried about that. All right, we seem to have reached our destination. All right. <clears throat> Gurinu Gurin Gurinu Fields discovered. All right, everyone, we've found a new location, hopefully one that will have oak trees. However, we are not going to visit this place just yet. And first, we are going... All right, everyone, we seem to have discovered a new place. Uh, we're not going to visit it this episode, but hopefully in the next episode, we'll finally be able to get some oak. And by getting oak... We will be able to build Snake Lady's guest house and finish up our boat work. And then we can press on with the story after that. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.